They turned the AUG HBAR into a ZIP22. But first, just a quick mention, maybe I don't show enough love to the channel members, but they help a ton with making videos, and if you want to help support the channel and what I do more as well, you can become a channel member too for just a dollar a month. Links below. Thanks. Today, I've got a bit of a quicker video, but they did add a funny to Phantom Forces, almost, it's not out yet, but soon it will be, hopefully. They turned the AUG HBAR into a glorified ZIP22, basically. I have no words. I found out about this after this man posted it in my Discord server, link is also below, and never answered me whether it was on the test place or not. It is not, but we can still see what it does though. For a bit of context, if you have Ligma phobia, uh, wait, no, that's LMG phobia. And you've never wandered into the LMG tab, the AUG H bar is an AUG scaled up, but with still the same tiny ammo type though. And unlocked at just rank 27. With only a few attachments, you can also have the tried and true no recoil setup, which is already pretty nice. But look at what they've leaked so far. They're gonna have a 22 conversion for the AUG H bar, and I mean, it's literally just a laser pointer that goes boom. Unfortunately, there aren't any stats available, that I've been able to find at least, but it is a very tiny magazine, which after counting, it seems to hold 19 or 20 rounds. Not bad. Though there aren't any stats available that I could find, there are other guns that have 22 conversions as well, like the Uzi and Vector. They both have pretty similar damage figures, so I can imagine that it'll be somewhere between 25 maximum damage and 10 minimum damage when it's on the AUG H bar. The fire rate of the Uzi with 22 and muzzle booster is basically the same as the AUG H bar, with 648 compared to the AUG H bar 650, so it's basically going to act like the Uzi with 22, just with, I guess, less muzzle climb. But honestly, the video shows it more similar in recoil to like a macro zip 22, which is kind of interesting. We also don't know what the kill requirement's gonna be. It's 2,500 on the Uzi and 3,000 on the Vector, so I'd imagine that it'll be somewhere between 2,000 and 3,500, so expect to spend a fair few credits. Though I will say, as a fan of the AUG H bar myself, I will be buying and testing this immediately, if and when it's added to the main game. Would you do the same though? Let me know in the comments below, and subscribe if you're new. You know what that means, right? <laughs> I'm about to do the most legal maneuver ever devised by a man. <laughs>